Last night, I went out into the moonlight, into the soft, silvery moonlight. The magic orb was casting streamers of soft, translucent silver among the silhouetted trees. The brilliant stars enhanced my loneliness. Then suddenly, I wish that I might be close, close in your arms. My mind's mouth savored your hot, dewy kisses, and the body of my thoughts felt your caressing hands. For a moment, only I stood in loneliness, too intense for me to bear. Then I re-entered my room and beckoned you into my waking dreams. I own a dream to stand with you at close of day with sunset in our eyes is to find refuge to gaze at the Vesper star then turn to you with a murmur on my lips is to know proud content. There is not in the world at event tide, but God in us. There are no homing birds, no songs, no flowers. For what would they be but our trespassers? To have your hand in mine is happiness unto itself. The world is our cathedral and love is our benediction. There is no beginning. There can be no end. All of it is dreamlike with awakening not to be feared. For it is a dream which I shall always own Will small colors in tinsels and soft black masks. They are in rhythm, rain rhythm, with the fresh sweet feeling of your cheek, man. I watch in tiny crystals, my own eyes. I watch you change and I quiver. Pieces of sparkled stars fall around your head um, real soft. Your warm, hot jazz poems, delirious, reach and pull me and I lament. Sing the blues dead inside sad songs and hear Stevie in my head. And we talk about families, our families, black Say it softer, real softer. We dance and talk about the good of it all. In our art, in our form, and for what we be. For you give me further dimension, man. 
and illuminate it all. Uh huh, uh huh, illuminate it all. Because you don't push me away no more. Don't push me away no more. Hold me in heat hot moments, in harvest browns, in oracles bent, split, in storms. Uh huh. You know how it should be. Shelter each point. Hold me in all time, in sensual swept motion, and make it forever shared. You share. I share in honey fluid dreams like LaBelle's future songs. They spin at you and you toss them away. But share with me, man. Share with me the fresh, sweet feeling of your sounds. The fresh, sweet feeling of your cheek. Last evening with a lady. Last night still plays in my mind. And you sitting across with dark gingerbread shoulders smoothly descending your face full of happiness as if something after exploding settled flake like over your smile. It bathes me with its atmosphere of you. We talked of wars and children, of men dying, of life as we know it, locked in our isolated pocket of the world. We dropped the veil and went inside each other. And I in my mind ran my tongue lightly over your lips and wet your descending shoulders walking back through the bent shadows of flowers across a bridge in silence full of what we wanted to say and couldn't some private area of us still at war i love dancing with you Smelling your sweet, clear sweat like dew upon your body. Your body like the early morning, full of welcome. We danced barefoot, my red turtleneck thrown over the desk lamp. The room filled with red as that rose you stole from me outside the library and made me rename your crime a tribute to me. Will you dance for me again? Will you interpret for me again those worlds in my poem? May I sleep on your lap again, you rubbing my forehead? Touching you moves me closer to God. You sleep like a soft concert, like a dark night settling after having swallowed the last burst and only splinters remain. Like love before the bombs fall, before revolutions assault our dreams, before some declared baptismal cancels out some component of us in which a crowd is hid, or a child, a small garden. 
Worlds come into being when you smile. Leave your smile with me as a life preserver. When the worlds go under for the last time, my scream huddles in the hollow of faith. We walked past the river full of living things. Voices of the night, water rushing over rock, breaking into whiteness, the whiteness catching and holding the moonlight, exhibiting it as it moves like music through the brown thighs of the shores. Playing through trees and bushes, meddling in the songs of the insects, the river your shoulders, smile, life. A sudden paragraph of me becomes a volume. Two human figures slice the mind of the world's First puzzling question, our warmth, our nakedness, the only real stamp of being, all wars and children and walks are fulfilled in our merging bodies, all fulfilled in your smile, the holiest act of your undressing as I enter you as entering some temple. Like the buffalo, they say you no longer exist, except on reservations in Harlem, Watts, and the Hill. They say some of you left for good to go to the University of Pittsburgh, Gulf Oil, and UPI. But I say you are still in the thick of the fray every day, man. I see you on the frontier plains, in the tall steel grass, in the sprawl of scrubby brush, your nappy helmet curled against the heat of the day, your beard as full as thick sagebrush. The sun becomes your skin, its color, the black of eternity. Your sweat is glistening as if it were millions of liquid stars. You shade your eyes that look toward what you can never see with hands strong and sensitive that can shape things to come. The battle in the cities through the heat of politics despite the tall iron grass of dope. It is a hard life to uproot. Buffalo soldier, create with the spirit, mind, and body. Save your bullets for the vipers. Beware, for they are not always discernible. I know you will feel faint, buffalo soldier, but your soul can see and your heart will know what your eyes may never behold. So scout on, forge on to the new world for those who will follow you. You are few on the frontier of time. 
You cannot expect cheering crowds, marching bands, and parades in your honor. Only more sun, more midday heat. But remember, the sun becomes your skin, its color, the black of eternity. The sweat it brings sparkles like the universe filled with billions of worlds exploding, some into death and others into life. Do you know of her? Do you know of her, black man? She is greatness of black womanhood. Do you know of her heritage, of her wisdom, when actual drums of her beauty once filled hearts of those powerful black men in the terrible lands of Africa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know of her, black man. Has seen her. She is of you, of smelly black clay. She has touched Your skin, she has seen you holding up wine stores until now. She knows you, black man. Has felt your vibrating body of life become twisted with weakness and ugliness. No longer reflection of the supreme deity. Reflecting instead Tiny Tim. Even in your beauty and strength. Black man, why is she beaten down with images of the pale thoughts of the unbelievers from cold beds of bat sucking light from her greatness? Being crushed by the unholy infidels. On corners of wigs, straightening combs, pig smells, mini skirts, girdles, and responsible jobs to patty boys. But yeah, black man, what about holy black woman and those gracious bubba bodies with heads of naturalness and gallagaity? Mm. Guess what? They digging you, black man. They steady, steady digging you, black man. Even as sad, sad walks hold you down. And false promises of Betsy Ross panties dry under a slick sun. And you play the melody to a $5 bag clean up, black man, before they clean you out. Clean up. Black man, push her greatness, her heritage, back into the world, and the splendor of our black woman will surely reach to brighten our sun and our supreme deity will surely say we are black Man. Rob Penny.
happened. She, you know, was created for me. It is the mission of the Kensel family. Why is it so hard for people to imagine a beautiful, black, loving world? A world where darkness is considered beautiful and black people are free. Mass consumed notions of blackness and whiteness are constructed in opposition to each other to maintain colonial power dynamics. A vast amount of channels of communication within global media teach people to overvalue whiteness and undervalue blackness. The more you learn of the images that you consume and of the context in which they exist, the more that the image begins to change. To be free, we must erode the pillars of knowledge, both in our minds and our physical institutions, that uphold our constructed notions of blackness and whiteness. It is on you to write new meaning to the images that you consume, and to learn to not only produce new imagery, but to not reproduce imagery and thoughts of your own pain and oppression. You have the potential to actualize a new world.